Welcome, my name is David Good, and I'm excited to share this all levels practice with you. It's a really amazing hip sequence that I do a lot of times just to warm up. I start in child's pose to start by stopping and letting myself arrive on the mat, leaving everything I have to do outside the mat in my life right off the mat. So this is my own private little real estate here. I get to relax and breathe and focus. Child's pose with something beneath your head, if not a block. Uh, stacked hands, a pillow. If you can get your forehead to the floor, that's great. And breathe. You can always reach your arms behind you. Take some big inhales. Beautiful. Come on to your fingertips and dome your hands. Stretch your wrists out your forearms and walk your hands to the left. Swing your, swing your right hip to your right heel and stretch out your side body. So right side body. Whole time you're breathing, expanding your breath, your ribs, your diaphragm. Walk your hands over to the right side. And same thing. This time left hip to left heel, stretch out your left side body. And breathe. Walk your hands back to center and come into a tabletop position. Hands beneath your shoulders, knees below your hips. Exhale all the air round out, so cat pose. Inhale, drop your belly. Halloween cat turns into cow pose. Exhale all the air. And inhale, drop your belly, look up, tailbone points up. Good. We're just getting the spine to move, getting the spine to get lubricated. And finding that sensation as we roll through the spine. <sighs> okay. Right arm reaches forward, left leg reaches back. Big stretch. Exhale, tap in the center. Inhale, stretch as far as you can. Exhale, tap. This is balancing the core, so we're using the core to keep ourselves balanced. Keep going, tap four times. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, tap. Inhale, lengthen. Now reach back, grab the top of the foot and kick the foot into your hand. If you can't reach your foot, just keep the knee bent and just start to reach back. And slowly release. Right hand beneath your shoulder. Left hand forward, right leg back. Exhale, tap. So cross. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, tap. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, tap. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, tap. Inhale, lengthen. And reach behind, grab the top of the foot. Kick the foot into the hand, pull back. Open up across your chest, your shoulder. Balance. And slowly release. Beautiful. Walk your hands forward. Curl your toes under. So from downward dog, just a couple of flows. So roll forward plank pose. Exhale back downward dog. Do this a couple times. Warm up your shoulders. Forward plank. Exhale back downward dog. Forward plank pose. Exhale, back, downward dog. Forward plank, back. Now walk your hands to your feet and roll yourself up. Good, bend your knees. Actually, let's stay here for a while. Let's grab our elbows and hang forward. Soften here. So. If elbows feels better for more traction, go ahead and keep grabbing elbows. But if you want, release your arms and think of your fingers like little rakes in um, sand and you're just gonna kind of rock from side to side like a pendulum and just free everything up. Don't make it static or don't make it too worried. Like don't worry about any kind of alignment. Just go for it. Just kind of rock a little from side to side. Shake everything out. Bend your knees, roll up. And take a little stroll up to the front, back into Tadasana pose, hands at your heart center. So thighs back, bum will feel like it sticks out, so now tailbone points straight down. Tone of the belly lifts up, 
helps with posture. And then chin lifts up a little, little air refinement, thumbs at your heart, chest into your thumbs, release your arms to your side. Let's flow, inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees as you soften. Halfway lengthen, Ardha Uttanasana. Hands to your shins if you need to. Exhale, fold. Ah, inhale, rise. Just a classic sun citation to start. Hands to your heart center. Exhale, arms to your side. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. And fold again. Step your right foot back this time, right knee to the floor. Left knee stacks on top of your ankle, both hands on the front thigh to help you sink a little into the lunge. So really important, front knee stacks over ankle. Right arm reaches up, left arm reaches up. Bend your elbows, cactus position. Elbows in line with your shoulders. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, plant the hands to the floor. Curl the back toes under, step forward. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way back up, palms touch, hands to your heart, and arms to your side. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Halfway lengthen. And plant the hands, left foot goes back, left knee to the floor. Low lunge. Hands on your front thigh just to sink into the lunge. Shoulders come back. Left arm up, right arm up. Elbows bend, exhale, cactus. Inhale, arms reach up. Hands plant. Curl the back toes under, step forward. Beautiful. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. And hands to your heart. Arms to your side. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Halfway lengthen. Plant the hands, right foot back, right knee to the floor. So this time, arms right away reach up. Exhale, elbows bend, cactus. Beautiful. Open your chest, your heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, plant the hands to the floor. Curl the back toes under. Step back this time, downward dog. Leads through an eight-pointed pose. Knees, chest, chin. Low cobra. Go easy and slow. Lower. And then another cobra, but hands float off the floor. Elbows squeeze in the side lower. Curl the toes under, push back. Downward dog pose. Right leg reaches up. Other side, step the right foot forward. Back knee to the floor. And arms reach up. Elbows bend. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, plant the hands. This time, step forward and roll all the way back up. Palms touch and hands to your heart. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, fold. Halfway up. Exhale, plant the hands, left foot back, left knee to the floor. Same thing, arms reach up. Exhale, bend. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, plant the hands, step back into plank pose, lower. Bum sticks up, slide into cobra and lower. And then one more time, hands float off the floor. Tops of the feet on the floor, stay there, lower. Curl the toes under, push back, downward dog pose. Left leg reaches up, we're almost there. Step the left foot forward, back knee to the floor. So this is the other side, arms reach up. Exhale, bend the elbows. Great for guys to open up the pecs, the chest. Inhale, reach arms up, plant the hands. Back toes curl under, step forward. And again, reach all the way up. Push your feet in the floor. Arms reach up, palms touch. Hands to your heart. Release your arms to your side. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Halfway up, lengthen. Plant the hands, right foot back. This time, back knee stays off the floor, arms reach up. High lunge pose, so the strength in this push through your back heel. Left hand to your back thigh. We'll use this to help us with the back bend. Front knee stacks as close as you can on top of ankle or a little bit behind. 
Okay, so a variation would be knee on the floor. Start to look up, right arm reaches up, very strong pose, plant the hands. Step back. Breathe. Right leg reaches up, right foot steps forward. High lunge again, crescent lunge pose, strong pose here. Right hand comes back to reach for the left thigh, left arm reaches up. Beautiful back bend, so we're keeping it safe by using the back hand. And slowly release, hands plant, step forward, roll halfway lengthen, exhale fold. Take a break. <sighs> Feel like everything spills out the top of your head. Inhale, reach up. Arms reach up, palms touch, and Tadasana, arms reach to your side. Again, inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Halfway lengthen. Plant the hands, left foot back. High lunge pose. We're gonna shake it up a little, so balance, breathe. Feel like you're drawing your two hip bones together. So left hand comes to left thigh, reach the right arm up. It's gonna feel a little different. Whoa, so breathe. Left arm reaches up, right hand, left thigh. Breathe. I'm just asking you to shake it up a little. Left hand comes back, interlace fingers, palms squeeze together. You can use a strap if you need to add some more space between your hands, shoulders back. Inhale, arms reach up, plant the hands. Step back, downward dog. So we're just playing with balance, playing with movement while we're in the balance. Left foot steps forward, high lunge pose. Here we go again, arms reach up. So focus somewhere ahead, your drishti, your focal point. Right hand, right thigh, you can feel your bum if you want. It's always nice to get a little grab in there every once in a while. And left hand switches, right thigh. Push through the back heel. And both hands behind now, interlace. Pull the hands back. Good. And hold. Arms reach up. Plant the hands. Step forward. So we're getting right into our hip flexors, our thighs. This is pretty intense here, so shake it out, breathe. Head hangs forward, neck is long. Inhale, rise, arms reach up. Palms touch, hands to your heart. And breathe. Arms release to your side. Let's do it again. Inhale, arms reach up. Keep flowing here. Exhale, fold. This is fun, right? Uh, halfway lengthen. Plant the hands. Breathe here. So this is a little different. This will be a bit more intense. Better than a cup of coffee. Left foot steps back, left knee to the floor. Arms reach up. Okay, so I want you to imagine that your hips don't move here. So back knee straightens as much as you can. Stay really low, so as low as you can to straighten your back leg. This is gonna just really get things to wake up. Left hip flexor, left thigh. Push through your left heel a little more if you wanna intensify it. So as low as you can, stay as low as you can. Plant the hands, step back, downward dog. Left leg reaches up, other side, left foot steps forward, knee to the floor, so as low as you can, like someone is holding you down and you can't come up as you straighten your back leg. How low can you go? Back leg straightens and breathe. Beautiful. Concentrate here, breathe. Big inhales, big exhales, focus. How low can you go? Plant the hands. Step back, oh, so the blood's gonna rush through. Pedal the feet out a little. Whew, and breathe. This is good. Come down onto your hands and knees. Come into child's pose. Big toes together, knees apart. Arms reach forward, so take a little breather, a break. So these are quite intense lunges to do one after another. But if you don't have a lot of time, this will shake things up fairly quickly and then notice what comes up. Breathe, don't run away. Focus. Good. Come to a seat. Have a block close at hand. 
roll to your back. Now let's get a little personal with this block. Take the block between your thighs and squeeze the block together. Squeeze your thighs into the block, hands interlace behind your head. Elbows squeeze forward to lift the head off the floor. Neck is safe. Squeeze the block, lift your legs up and hold. Now keep squeezing. Smallest core exercise ever. All I want you to do is lift your tailbone off the floor and keep breathing. Don't swing your legs towards your head. So notice my legs are not moving. All it is is tailbone lifts off the floor. You have to breathe. Great thing is you can't see my face. So I'm probably making a really funny face right now, but I want you to soften your face. Okay, release. So for about a count of five, we'll hold. Let's do it again. Elbows squeeze into the side of the head, head and shoulders lift off the floor, neck is nice and safe, legs reach up. If you want to add on to it, so if your neck feels safe and strong, just reach your arms forward. Arms reach forward, head and shoulders off the floor, tailbone just lifts off the floor, one inch to one millimeter. Breathe here, you're focusing here, you're smiling if you can, the most advanced yoga practitioner can smile during core poses. And release, oh God, and breathe. Whew. Any tension in the neck, just shake your head out. Okay, hands interlace behind your head. And again, squeeze into the block, lower back, back, lower back, sorry, draws into the floor. This time arms reach up, reach towards your toes. Remember, if the neck feels too compromised, hands behind your head, hold here, five, four, three, uh, two, Two and a half, and release one. Good. Let your knees just windshield wiper a little, soften the lower back if there's any tension. We're trying not to take it into our hip flexors, we're trying to use the core. Interlace your hands behind your head. Squeeze into the block again. Either arms reach forward, arms reach to the feet, or hands behind your head. Now, all I ask is that you lower your legs about one inch or two inches, that's it. Lower back still pushes into the floor. Don't let the back round off the floor. Keep breathing here. Hold here, but do not hold your breath. Head and shoulders off the floor. Body is breathing here, whole body, so big inhales, and then release. That's it block off to the side. So very, very intense core work to start. Grab your knees, slow dance from side to side, rock from side to side, release any tension. Good. Take the block to the lowest height, place it beneath your sacrum, the lowest bone of your spine. So it's a big flat triangular bone. You should feel pretty secure on it when you rock your hips from side to side. You don't need a block either. You can just use the floor or a pillow if you have any lower back issues. Right knee into your chest, left leg forward. Push your left foot forward. So most of the work is in your left top of your thigh. So you're trying to open up the top of your left thigh. Right knee into your chest. You can add on by straightening your back leg, hands behind your left, right, er, what is that? Right thigh. And you can also use a strap across the foot for sure. This will help just to smooth out our lower back. Back of the head is on <clears throat> back of the head is on the floor. Excuse me. And breathe. Try to push up through the heels. Push the heel up towards the ceiling, push the other heel towards the, the front wall. Good. Do the other side. Left knee. Interlace the hands around the shin. Left knee into your chest. Right foot pushes forward to extend the right leg and open up the top of your right thigh as you draw your left knee in. So most of the work is happening in your right thigh, the top of your right thigh. You can stay here. You can interlace your hand behind your left thigh and you can lasso the foot with a strap if that is better. Now remember, any lower back issues, get rid of the block. The block is there just to help stabilize, to remind us to keep our hips level, but you can also use the floor. Imagine one day your big toe is going to touch the floor above your head. 
That's a joke, remember? You're allowed to, you're allowed to have fun in yoga. Ah, and breathe. Your heart rate's slowing down, your breath is slowing down. Now both knees into your chest, shake your legs out like you're shaking the change out of your pockets. Just let anything soften, release. So good for our body, our circulation. Drain your legs out. And feet on the floor, lift your hips up. Block comes out to the side. Hug both your knees into your chest and give them a little squeeze. Rock a little from side to side. Hands behind your thighs, roll up, cross your ankles, and sit just for a sec. <sighs> Hands come forward. Push back, walk back, downward dog. Pedal the feet out, right leg reaches up. Right knee taps your right wrist, shin lays down. So 45 degrees angle is perfect. You can work towards a little deeper, working towards the 90 degrees with your right shin. And top of your left foot finds the floor. If you need a block, you slide it underneath your right hip. Hips are square. Arms reach forward. And add length to your spine as you slowly walk yourself forward and you come down. And I want you to think of finding the middle ground, the comfort between the, sorry, the, the middle of comfort and ease or comfort and work, sorry, is what I'm trying to say. So if you can find that little middle ground between when things are hard and when things are really easy, that's that sweet spot. Here I'm demonstrating just a block underneath my forehead, little connection. You can do this if your forehead comes to the floor or stack your hands. We're letting ourselves slow down, get a little deeper into our hips. Good. Can you stay a little longer? Come out whenever you need to come out though, for sure. Ah, beautiful. Keep breathing here. So breathe into your back body. Walk your hands beneath your shoulders. Curl your back toes under and step back. Right leg reaches up. Give it just one long stretch. You can shake your leg out and back into downward dog. Other side. Left leg reaches up. Left knee taps. Your left wrist. Shin comes down. Pigeon pose. Such a great pose. If you find your hips are really hard to kind of find any, any, any attempt at square, put some support underneath your left hip. Blocks, a bolster, a rolled up blanket. Use your props. Now think of your spine being as long as you can and walk your hands forward. You can place something beneath your forehead and rest. The back ankle is strong, so top of that back foot. So right foot, baby toe, big toe is on the floor. Good. Big inhales, big exhales here. Keep breathing. Arms reach forward, stretch it out a little more. If you need something underneath your chest, use a bolster, use a cushion. Make this a comfortable pose and you can always flip it onto your back. You can do the same work with your knee drawing into your chest, your shin across the body. I joke about this, I call this dead pigeon pose. So when it's on your back, it's just a little bit easier. A 
Walk your hands back. Curl your back toe under. Left leg stretches back. Shake it out if you want to. And release downward dog. Pedal it out a little. Go slow, walk forward. And nice and slow. Bend your knees a little. Slide your hands underneath your feet for a little bit of a stretch for your forearms, your wrists. Step on your palms, Pada Hastasana. If that doesn't work, use blocks. So feet are still hip width apart. And all you're doing is you're flipping the hands, palms face up. So this is a great stretch for your forearms, for your wrists. It's the opposite of what we do in yoga. Head hangs forward, neck nice and long. Breathe here. So think about lengthening your spine, your neck. Your neck is called your cervical spine and it is part of your spine, so keep it long. There's nothing to look at ahead. Blocks off to the side. And let's come to Malasana squat. So this is squat pose. Feet are nice and wide. Toes are pointing out to the direction of your knees. Hands to your heart center. If you need a block, sit on a block. Make it a little easier and bring your forearms to your thigh. Forearms to your thighs, yeah. So you modify whenever you need to. Use your props around you. Beautiful pose, external rotation of your thighs. And one more time. If you're low, if you're low and you can get your arms in between the thighs, Push the thighs into the upper arms and push back with your upper arms. You'll see your biceps bulging a little. Tailbone is reaching straight down to the floor. And come down to a seat. Good. Blocks off to the side. So we've done a lot of external rotation. Let's do a little bit of internal rotation. So both knees come together. This is called constructive rest pose. And we'll use it as just a little bit of a break here. So feet nice and wide. I'm just showing you this view so you can see me. But you'd have your feet as wide as the matter wider. Knees fall together. Wide as the matter wider or and then feet or sorry, knees fall together. Helps to relax your psoas muscles, your thigh bones drop into your hip sockets. Okay, so keep your feet wide and let your left knee fall in. So left knee falls into center. And the only thing I'm asking for is that you just check that the left knee, the left hip are in line. So notice how I just check left knee, left hip are in line. And I'm not letting myself really kind of come off the floor here. I'm just trying to make it so soft. There's not a lot of internal rotation. Um, there's about like eight degrees of internal rotation on most of us. And that's small, so this is perfect. All I'm gonna do is hold here. It's just very gentle. Now let the right knee fall in. So remember, right knee, right hip are in line. Now I'm adding again on this a little stretch for the arms as well. So I'm going to take my left hand, grab a hold of my right arm, give it a good stretch. So I'm stretching all the way down my right side body. And notice how there's not that much internal rotation. Some of us have a lot more, but you're not going to force it. This is just like super slow just to slow things down to breathe you have to breathe remember so big inhales think of softening the body as much as you can okay 
Okay, have your blocks on your side. Bring the soles of your feet together now in Baddha Konasana pose with a little bit of support of the blocks underneath your thighs. Let this be a way to get into Shavasana. So a little bit of height underneath our thighs is gonna make the lower back soften a bit more and it's gonna open our groins, our hip flexors from all those lunges. We're getting ready to come into Shavasana. This could be your Shavasana, so, so good with the support. Take some time here. One question I love to ask myself is, do I feel different than when I started this practice today? Do I feel different now than when I first started this practice? Usually the answer is yes. And sometimes it's not for the better. Sometimes I feel a little bit more crankier and maybe a little more irritable, so maybe it stirred things up. When you're ready, blocks off to the side, come into your full Shavasana pose. Hands interlace behind your head. You can give yourself a nice little bit of traction, so stretch and arms to your side. And release. Take some time and breathe. Start to wiggle your fingers and toes, roll your wrists and ankles, come back. Arms reach overhead, stretch. Long, long stretch. Roll to your right, use your left hand to come up and come to a seat. I always sit on a block so my hips are higher than my knees and legs cross so my lower back is soft. And thank yourself for this practice. The work first is to show up. That's the hardest part, and you did that. Now have the faith to let all of this practice just settle in. Take some big inhales, some big satisfying long exhales. Thank you so much, Bree, the yoga studio for letting me film this at your studio. It's such a beautiful studio in Toronto. Good. May everyone be happy, may everyone be healthy, may everyone be safe, and may everyone be free.
Thank you so much for taking this time. I hope this practice helps when you don't have a lot of time to practice. You can do it on the road. Bring your hands together, palms to your heart center, and we say namaste. Thanks, yogis.